Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number two from the October November 2022. It's from the Mechanics M1 paper from Cambridge. It's paper four, variant one from uh, 9709 syllabus. This question here is about momentum and energy. And here we are told about two small smooth spheres A and B of equal radii out of mass of six kilograms and two kilograms respectively they lie on a smooth horizontal plane initially a is moving towards b with a speed of five meters per second and b is moving towards a with a speed of three meters per second after the spheres collide both a and b move in the same direction and the difference in their speeds of the spheres is two meters per second find the loss of kinetic energy of the system due to the collision so what we need to do here is we need to find what the kinetic energy was before the collision. We need to find the total kinetic energy, the total kinetic energy before. Okay, you can say before, and we also need to find the total kinetic energy after. That's what we need to find. Okay, so for us to find the total kinetic energy of those two balls before the collision, um, we need to consider their masses and their velocities before the collision. So this is, let's say this is A, and let's say this is B. A has a mass of 6 kilograms, and B has a mass of 2 kilograms. And before the collision, A is moving towards B with a speed of 5 meters per second. And B is moving towards A with a speed of 3 meters per second. I'm just writing the speeds right now. I'm not writing the velocities. I'm not considering the direction until I use a calculation. Now, after the spheres collide, both A and B are moving in the same direction. Now, it's quite obvious to me here, because this has got a bigger mass and moving at a faster speed. If it hits this, which is, going, which is a smaller mass and a slower speed, um, they're going to go in this direction after the collision. It's quite obvious there. Right, And if they both go in that direction after the collision and the difference in the speeds of the spheres is 2 meters per second, then obviously B has to be the one that's going faster because A can't be going faster than B if B is in the way of A. Right? So this is going to be, if, if A, let's say A speed is V, okay, then B, the speed of B would be V plus 2. 2 meters per second faster than A. Okay, so the velocity of A is going to be V. The final velocity of B is going to be V plus 2. Whatever the velocity of A is, plus 2. Okay, so now we can work out the velocities of A and B using this um, and the, con by the conservation of linear momentum. So the conservation of lin linear momentum will say that the total momentum before and after will be equal. So before the collision, you're going to have... Now, I'm going to take... In this case, I'm going to take right as positive. Okay. So I'll have 6 times 5. Plus, and here I'll have 2 times negative 3. Because B is going in the opposite direction to what we call positive. And that's equal to um, 6 times V plus 2 times V plus 2. Now, when I um, simplify this... I should get the v, the value of v. So this is 30, and minus 6 is equal to 6v plus, and you're going to have 2v plus 4. So you're going to have 24 is equal to 8v plus 4. So 24 minus 4 is 20, is equal to 8v. So we can say that v is equal to 20 over 8. 20 over 8 which is the same as uh, 5 over 2, divided by 4, 5 over 2, which is 2.5 meters per second. So we can say that the velocity of A is 2.5 meters per second after the collision, that means, and the velocity of B, yeah, the final velocity of B is 4.5 meters per second because we know, as we know, the velocity of B is the velocity of A plus 2 meters per second. So now we can use the fact, we can find the kinetic energy before the collision. So kinetic energy before the collision is going to be, now we know that kinetic energy is equal to half times the mass times the square of the velocity. So you're going to have 
before the collision is to be half times six times five squared. That's gonna be a half times six times five squared plus the kinetic energy of B before the collision, which would be a half times two times three squared. A half times two times three squared. And the kinetic energy after the collision, okay, is going to be a half times six times, and the, the velocity of A is 2.5 at the end of the collision afterwards. So 2.5 squared plus a half times B, which is a mass of two, times 4.5 squared. So if you find these two kinetic energies and subtract them, we'll find the loss of kinetic energy in the system due to the collision. So we take our calculator, we have a half times so 0 0.5 times six times five squared, plus a half times two, which is just gonna be two plus are going to this plus nine squared. Okay, those will cancel out. So that will give us it's 156. Is that right? Half time. Oops. Times three squared. That's a nine. Sorry about that. Be careful. That's 84. Okay, that's 84. So you're going to have here 84 joules before the collision and after the collision. We're going to have a half times two times four point five squared. So this is going to this is going to become four point five squared here. A half of the two cancel out, and um, here we're going to have a half times six times two point five squared. So I'll just change this to two point five, two point five squared. Okay. So this will be the kinetic energy after the collision, which is thirty nine joules. Oops, thirty nine joules. So we can say that the loss in kinetic energy is equal to 84 minus 39. Okay, so 84 minus 39. So you have 84 minus the last answer, which is 45. So that's 45 joules. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. Now, where do people make mistakes here? Um, they didn't know which one to call V plus 2 and V or V minus two if you want, and V. They didn't know which one to, to has the higher speed. So first thing you've got to realize is because A has got a bigger mass and a, and a bigger speed, and B's got a smaller mass and a smaller speed, it's going to obviously, um, when they collide, you know, if they're both going to go in the same direction, then they're both going to go in this direction, the way that A is moving. And secondly, A cannot have a higher speed than B after the collision because then there will no way it can't be that they're going to be going in that same direction. If they're going in this direction, B has to be going faster than A. Otherwise, A will kind of like, you know, it has to be in front of B. It's behind B. Okay, so there's no way that they can go in the same direction and A go faster than B. Can't go through B, right? So that's why we have to call B V plus 2. Okay, and A V. All right, so there's the answer to the question. And we had to find the loss of kinetic energy and that's the way to do it. So it's kind of like a mixture between a question involving momentum and also involving energy. Okay, so you'll find other questions from this paper in the playlist that will appear at the top of the screen at the end of this video over here. Other questions from the topic of um, momentum you'll find in the playlist over here. My P1, uh, sort of my M1 collection for Cambridge. Other questions from the topic of energy from my Cambridge collection will be over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link at the top. Thank you for watching and see you soon.